Hey guys! Uh, so today I finally get to tell you about something really cool um, that happened to me. Now at the beginning of this year I was contacted by this director called Carl Derrick. And after some emailing and some Skype conversations he asked me to come to Bulgaria to work on a proof of concept that he'd written. A proof of concept is like a movie trailer, but for fundraising and for producers. So it's to show people that the movie should be made. I was very careful um, with this because I have a really bad experience in being asked to come abroad for mermaiding or underwater performance stuff. So even though Carl seemed totally trustworthy, I really vetted this guy in advance, um, but he was totally legit. And so I decided to take the plunge. Puns. I arrived in Sofia, Bulgaria, quite nervous, uh, but everyone was just lovely to me. Um, Carl introduced me to Andy Horner, the director of photography, and uh, Jonathan Harden, my co-star. Um, and they showed me around the studios. The new Boyano studios are incredible. I mean, they had like entire cities and streets just built from styrofoam. It was bizarre. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Um, so they would have like St. Paul's Cathedral on one side and then you would turn around and there would be a small, tiny, adorable gas station. The second day I was there, uh, we immediately had to film the underwater stuff. Uh, now that was by far the scariest bit for me um, because this was basically the only reason that they had chosen me over a uh, more experienced, like a regular actress. And we only had one afternoon to get it right. Um, now this tank, this underwater set, guys, I have no words for how impressive that is. It's, it was six meters deep, um, the walls were black, uh, the floor was black, so it looked even deeper than it was. Um, water was crystal clear, I was like, oh my god, am I going to be able to pull this off? Uh, but luckily I got to practice a little bit in advance. Um, so here you can see me just warming up, swimming around. Uh, it looks like I'm right beneath the surface, but I'm actually at about five meters depth here, I think. So then it was time to get into the costume. Uh, here's Carl, the director, giving me some instructions and some kind reassurance. <laughs> I'm uh, always ta uh, taking with me too much weight, just to be in on a safe, safe trip. <laughs> One of the cool features of this tank uh, is that the director could talk to me through underwater intercom. So he could just talk and I would hear him clear as day. So the frame is good. Come down a little bit. So your eyes are looking to your right of the frame. Can you see the cut in the edge of the paper? And that made it really easy to follow instructions while underwater. One of the tricky things was my lipstick kept flaking off because I was breathing through um, a diving regulator in between takes. So every once in a while I had to reapply my lipstick while I was still in the water. Uh, oh, here's a picture of me and Georgie, my safety diver. I'm wearing the costume here that I made myself and it performed beautifully underwater. Um, but it was impossible to swim in because my legs would get tangled in the fabric whenever I moved them. It was awful. <laughs> So for the rest of the week, we did all these other scenes. Um, of course, uh, I wasn't in every scene, so when I wasn't, I just tried to not be in the way too much and learn as much as I could about filmmaking and acting and directing and everything. The New Boyana crew was extremely friendly and uh, Carl, Jonathan and Andy were just really nice and, I mean, hilarious. My, my face cramped from all the laughing I did over there. Dover mother Utro. <laughs> Slightly camp as well, which is always good. Yeah. Don't worry about their intro. Look how you look on film. Brilliant. It's amazing. Brilliant. It's beautiful. It's a shame you're such a dog in real life. Isn't it? <laughs> so I say that out loud. <laughs> Jesus, I'm so sorry. I didn't know I was going to say that. <laughs> so, some of the highlights. Um, I really enjoyed watching how a set is uh, dressed. Every time we were shooting some scene that was indoors, they would use a smoke machine to make the room look like really smoky. And on camera, that doesn't even show up as much, but it's just to make the atmosphere look less dry. That was really interesting. And then also, um, so they needed uh, Mike, Jonathan's character, to be a smoker, but he doesn't smoke. So they would bring someone in from the crew to keep the cigarette lit in between takes, which was really interesting. Another really cool and weird thing was um, 
My character, Faye, there's this scene where she's dancing naked in front of a large furnace. And they wanted it to look like I was really sweaty, so they sprayed me down with water. But it was actually really cold in that room where we were shooting. So in the footage you can see uh, clouds of condensation coming from my mouth whenever I breathe out. Um, but they still managed to make it look like it's really hot in there. So lighting can really do a lot, guys. I mean, I was freezing. Something else that was really fascinating to me was seeing what the camera is filming and then what is happening around that. For example, this shot of Mike coming down the stairs. Um, I mean, the lengths they had to go to to get those water ripples on the walls. They had to smash a mirror and then they took the shards and put them in plastic crates. And then they aimed the lights at the crates, which were filled with water. And then the reflection of that would bounce off on the walls. So every time we went for a take, they would have one or two people splashing the water about in those crates. Anyway, the best part is that the proof of concept is now done. It has been edited and graded and whatnot. So you can watch the final product by clicking the link in the description. Please do. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. Um, I'm very proud to have been a part of this. There were so many talented people working on it. It was so much fun to make too. And if it gets enough attention and, you know, funding, then it may actually be made into a full movie. So, um, Please watch it and let me know what you think about it. I mean, here or on Vimeo, I'm really curious to hear what you guys think of it and what your opinion is. So please get in touch after watching. I mean, even if you have questions, maybe if, if there's a lot of fun questions that I might do like a Q&A or something. Um, so thank you so much for all your support uh, and you will hear from me very soon.